Welcome everyone to the last campaign in Steel Division 2, Baron of Vici. We're going to be playing this as the Germans and as soon as we have done that we'll be starting all over with Orsha and start with that with the Germans. Baron Zina as the Soviets, Bobrusk as the Germans and then Baron of Vici as the Soviets. So we got a long way ahead of us. So let's jump into Baron of Vici. So we'll be playing as the Germans against hard Soviets. Let's see how this goes. Sit back and enjoy. Half of General Rokossovsky's 1st Belarusian Front was attacking Babrusk and racing north towards Minsk to trap the German 4th Army. The other half, led by cavalry mechanized units, was moving west to intercept any German reinforcements as far away from the Belarusian capital as possible. Meanwhile, Field Marshal Model was finally starting to receive said reinforcements and organize them to reform a coherent front and stop the Soviet offensive. But his Fuhrer wanted him to throw them into a feudal counter-strike towards Minsk to save the surrounded 4th Army. Model, the miracle worker of the Vermont, could accomplish one of his objectives, but both of them? Model and Rakosovsky are both racing against time with the strategic railroad hub at Verona Vici at the center of the storm. Army Group Center has been virtually destroyed. Remnants of the 3rd Panzer Army and 9th Army are being pushed back in opposite directions. Between the two, a huge gap almost 100 kilometers wide has opened, with the Soviet 1st and 3rd Belarusian fronts about to meet in Minsk, which has been abandoned by the Germans. The 4th Army, which has managed to avoid the first encirclement along the Berezina, is now trapped east of the city. Hitler, finally having taken stock of the situation, has authorized major reinforcements to be dispatched to Baranovici in order to stabilize the front and counterattack towards Minsk. Meanwhile, the Soviets are pushing mobile troops towards that same city, intending to accomplish a second encirclement. General, two elite divisions, the 4th Panzer and 28th Jaeger, as well as Hungarian elements and Luftwaffe squadrons, are on their way to reinforce us. Although not enough to turn the tables, at least they give us an opportunity for a limited counterattack. Your mission is to set up a new defensive line to stop the Soviet offensive and hold on to Baranovici. Also, if you can retake Stopsy, captured by an advanced party of Cossacks, it will allow the retreating group Elendig to reconnect with us and reinforce our defenses. Primary objective, Baranovici until July 9th p.m. All right, until July 9th p.m. seems really doable. And we are already entrenched. Okay, so the Soviets are up first. Oh. Man, that's a lot of movement. Okay, we got attacked immediately over here. Now, we are entrenched with the 509th Grenadier Regiment. Quite a lot of pens or just regular Grenadiers. And loads of leaders. That's good. Attacked by the mechanized... Okay, finally we can see what the enemy is attacking with. Jesus, that took too long. So, loads of Strelakis and the 19th mechanized with lots of Sapris and some Mortars. Man, that beats this thing. Yeah. That, that was a pain. So, all right. So the fourth Panzer is over there. We're going to try to take over uh, Storche, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll try to push up there. So first of all, let's get this settled. So they are both pushing in phase A with basically infantry only. Now, what we could get is get a second reinforcement in B phase and maybe use some planes. So we have close support, which is 190s. Focke Wolf 190s with light bombs. We also have a bomber wing with more heavy stuff. And we have some fighters. So what we could actually do is just get the bomber wing. And um, yeah, hope for the best, I guess. So let's do... Yeah, let's do a tactical battle. So we'll give the Phase B infantry to our allies. And we'll keep the fighters ourselves. All right. Let's see how this goes. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. All right, what do we got? We do have defensive, uh, defensive things, loads and loads of bunkers. All right. Well, I don't think this might, this would be an easy one actually. They do have a really good, like we have a really good position here, so this should be easy enough. 
Um, we'll set up a... Let's see, we'll set up a gun looking... This way, like that. So that can cover some of it. We'll get a 50 mil right about this way. We'll get a 50 mil looking this way. It's mainly just infantry that they're attacking with, so I'm not even too worried, to be honest with you. Get a 37 there. And we got a lot of these again. This is a massive map though, so we do need to um, do need to be careful about this. Let's get one on this side, just overlooking the entire... Let's look at the left with this. Then we'll get a bunker machine gun. Looking that way. We'll get an MG looking this way. Together with a machine or a 37 mil looking into this range. Another MG overlooking that crossroad and definitely should get an MG over here. Ooh, that's a good spawn. Nice. Barbed wire. We do have quite a lot of that. We also have another 75. That sounds good. Let's get some trenches out. Kind of connect those buildings with each other. We don't really need too many trenches. I'm just going to get a few lines set up. The town itself is easily defendable. We'll get some trenches up on the hills here. There we go. Barbed wire. In this situation, pretty useless, to be honest with you. Guess we'll set them up here, like that. Yeah, I mean, since we have enough of it, might as well use it. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of useless one. All right, that's all of that. We now need to spawn in some of our infantry. Let's get some grenadiers out, definitely in the trenches. Get a grenadier fear. And the two other Grandiers can move into these trenches, together with an MG. We'll go to the second company. We'll get one Grandier in there. One on the top of that hill. We'll get a few into the woods. Are those trenches? Those are trenches. Perfect. Get some machine guns. And we'll get one of the third company in here. There we go. Don't want to use... Um, don't want to use all of our troops. We don't have an awful lot, to be honest. Yeah, that kind of leaves that entire right side open, doesn't it? Let's cancel some of these then. We are pretty thinned out. So that uh, phase B reinforcement could not be timed better. Well, we could have gotten them now. That would have helped. Okay, um, yeah, let's get some mortars out, might, might as well. Let's get two there. We should probably get bombs. Let's get the bombs out instead. Yeah, the phase B reinforcements, I hope um, they don't take too long. Here we go. Let's do it. Some contact on the right. Yeah, this we should be able to hold this. Like as soon as the infantry, as as long as we just keep them out in the open, we're good. If they get into the towns, if they get any form of like foothold in some of these uh, strategic positions, then we will be in trouble. But we just gotta hope to uh, keep them at bay here until our allies arrive. So let's just hold for nine minutes. That thing is not giving up. Infantry is unloaded. It's just a Maxim machine gun. That's fine. Let's 
Trella keys out in the open. More Studebeckers coming in. AT guns are getting it. We got some BA-64s over here. Batmobiles. This might be our weakest link, actually. Let's get some bombs going. Yeah, that is our weakest link for sure. Not much can uh, look into that range. It's going to be a challenge to take out. Let's get the heavy bombs in. Let's go, boys. That's bound to wreck some... Uh, Wreck someone's day. These are super slow. <laughs> but they do drop a big payload. There we go. I'll look for evacuate. Evacuate. That's four tons. And they do have uh, fighters. So that's the last time we use that. I should have probably got my fighters instead. Yeah. Okay, good. We might have actually we might actually survive this. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be speeding this through a little bit. Since the only thing the enemy is doing at the moment is um kamikaze units into our AT guns. Left side is holding nicely. AT guns are doing really nice. This is kind of the tricky part, but we're reinforcing it. Let's actually get one more troop here. One more unit. MG42 destroyed over here. So this is another weak side. Getting uh, bombed quite aggressively. So it might be time to get some pioneers out. Let's, let's actually get all of our infantry out that we can. We'll also get our IG-18s and IG-33s. Another Pac-38. Um, maybe another one there. Let's get some recon. Recon. Let's just get everything. There we go. Looking good. Speed it up. It's just barely in range. Gotta get into the buildings instead there. Move these boys in. The infantry in the trenches do need a leader. Otherwise, they're pretty weak. So we're going to go ahead and get all of our leaders out. Especially for the town there. Lots of infantry being flooded into this range. <coughs> Machine gun can only engage so many of them. Alright, so let's line these boys up here. getting pretty hairy. Oh wow, they actually broke through. Look at that. We will have to engage them, I think. Let's get the infantry in here. So I'll load the IG-33. Just get it to get into a gun run position. It's gonna get tricky. It's gonna get real tricky. We might have to fall back a smidge. With a smidge I mean into the trenches here. It's a little bit better covered. Alright, bombs away. Gonna evac those and just hope that we survive. Nope, we're not gonna survive that one. Yeah, that's the last time I do bombing runs. We're gonna probably lose both of these HE-111s. Definitely lost that one. We do have a lot of them still, but um, yeah. 
stop before we lose any more. Those Chalkies are pretty, pretty darn good. Gotta watch out for those. Let's get these IG-33s working a little bit better. At least we're holding, for now. Let's get these Grenadiers out. Their MGs can uh, outrange their infantry. Scary engagements. We lost the Panzer, Panzer Faust infantry. Yep. Yes, we did. Time to fall back then in that case. It might be time to get our mortars out. What do you think? Oh no. There goes the commander. Painful news. 1 minute 25. Then we get our phase B reinforcements from our ally. Hopefully that'll do something. Should have probably used it ourselves. Let's give our allies some fun. Let's get another leader there. Can hold the IG-33. At bay. These are doing good. Let's get this half-track working. Got one minute. six points not great but not horrible either yeah one way we could kill all these planes is getting a wave of bombers and just getting all those turrets to do a crap load of damage that's one way oh, a little bit too far fine we'll just mortar this unit Go, buddy. Let's unload. We're way in, well in range. Mm -hmm. Grand ears. Alright. Mortar's doing good. Here we go, that's what we needed. Perfect. Ooh. Getting countered. I think. Yep, definitely. Amazingly. Immediately. Some F-22s. Oh, we do have some more grenadiers. I forgot about that. Let's get these boys. Did we actually get everything, or did we give our allies some stuff? I guess we uh, didn't give our allies anything. All right, that's you know what? That's actually good. It's good news. Let's um, pile down the infantry over there, and we'll get this company to pile down the infantry in this place. Together with the machine gun, we'll get the leader up on the hill. And that's uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. Man, that is dirty. I hate that they unload. I really do. Really hate that they unload. I'd rather have them in there and risk being blown up than uh, unload like that. It's so horrible. Okay, we are we are doing good. Line them up. There we go. Cool, all the infantry is moving in. Actually, all of this can probably move up here as well. I 
don't want to necessarily lose that pack 50 mil. Oh, we're gonna get that mortar. We are gonna get that mortar. I don't care what it takes. Let's get some recon out here and there. So that's one. We'll push our way into this forest. Why not? Oh, they know. Let's move in. Let's get another IG-33 and a supply truck. There we go. Strelfi is destroyed. Good. Now it begins. Now it begins. There's all their uh, artillery. Got you now, girl. Oh, this one is out. Okay, I take it back. Let's move into the woods then. Now the 80 mils. I don't know if we are in range. Even slightly. What I'm going to do is actually move my infantry up a little bit. What is the range of these again? 3,000. Okay, that might be in range. Almost, almost. Let's move in. Let's get these into the town. Alright, I'm gonna risk our quote unquote shittiest bombers. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Never mind. I was gonna say to use the turrets to kill all the planes, but that's just that's just stupid. Let's not do that. Let's get that 82. It's going pretty good here. These guys are not doing too good though. We could use some reinforcements. Let's get these guys into that trench. All the infantry on the left is more than enough. Alright, unload that, aim up, get ready. Just all get ready. Just get ready. We're gonna blast some of these... Some of these mortars. Okay, you guys done? There we go. Open up. Take some of those F-22s out. That's gonna help us big time. Sapperies and a combat. That is a little bit more painful than I uh, than I imagined. I'm gonna try to get that IG over there. Yeah, it's gonna be reloaded with that TNT. We're gonna fall back. I think the mortars might have done good. We are getting shelled from the left. Those two positions. There we go, Sapri is getting it. In the face. Let's move in. Make that surrender. Man, this is a tough one actually. I didn't uh, didn't expect that. That is a little bit too far. It isn't too far actually. Let's get that bastard. That's our objective, to get all these mortars taken out. You know what? Screw it. Let's move in. Who says we cannot attack? Let's go. Let's freaking go. There's the uh, 45 mil we saw at some point. 
Really wondering if that's a good idea or not. To spawn in all these planes, we might just lose a ton of bombers. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Let's get those. Uh, get that 45 mil. Let's get that Strela key. He's being our recon or their recon. Come on, IG. Get to work. Can I get some Panzer Shrek or uh, Grenadiers in there? Panzer Shreks. I was gonna say Panzer Grenadiers, but that's not in there. Alright, let's move up. It's going better than expected. Better than expected. We're gonna get some of these half tracks to just race straight through. Got another 15 minutes. There is a Resvetka team right there. Keep arding those. Actually, let's count to their mortars right there. Gotta keep those occupied. Oh, we took a point. Look at that. Yeah, left side is not really doing much. It's really calm. Ooh, 81 destroyed. Not cool. Okay, we don't have a lot of HE rounds. Go, 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 come on. Get in there. Move up quick, we're just getting shelled. It really doesn't matter how many times you counter. They just have way too much. What is the range on this? 2000. Yeah, we can take that. Easy. Easy. Do we have more supply trucks, perhaps? Yes, sir. Get that out of there. One thing we need over here is actually a recon. There it is. Cool. It's phase C. We got 10 minutes. Man, we're losing. We might just fall back with, uh, with these mortars at some point. Everything is like just out of range. Man, come on. Yeah, you guys move back. You you're just getting smashed. Good hit there. All of a sudden, the uh, 45 mil is out. Out and about. 81 mil got smashed. Enemy 120s are hitting us in the face. Good direct hit on the 45, almost killing everything in there. We got another 10 minutes, let's go. It kind of turned into this um, anti-mortar anti battle. Screw it, we're just gonna move in. Let's go boys. Due to their air power, we cannot bomb this blob they got going on there. Otherwise, I would have been in heaven right now. Let's wait for those rounds to hit. Okay, let's go for the infantry. Oof. Oh! Beautiful. Move, boys, move. Unload. Keep wrecking them. Nice. Alright, 
right. Let's move this guy up. There's not much they uh, yeah, not not much of infantry left that they can do anything with. It's gonna speed this up now. Getting a little bit uh, a little bit boring there. And I hate those mortars. I really, really hate those mortars. Have I told you I hate those mortars? Got about nine minutes left here. There goes that 82. Two of them. Beautiful. Thank God. There goes that 76. And the 120. And there's another one back there. Isn't this the cleanup that is really satisfying? Tear him up, boys. I just want to get those 120s. There's another mortar. There's a 76. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh, hate to see it. Hate to see it. Just keep charging through, boys. Come on. Fire everything. Man, that's a lot of mortars dead. That IG is gone, though. Got about 50 seconds left in game, that is. Maybe we can get a few more. We're cleaning up house in terms of mortars. That's good. There you go. There goes that one. And it looks like that's it. Good. Good, 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 good. We held out. We held out nicely. Got all these mortar kills. Beautiful. Ooh, a nice background. Alright, so the first Belarusian front. See what they're gonna do. Well, not much. They're actually attacking us once again. They're attacking another unit now that is uh, actually dug in with the 19th mechanized. So the fact that they're only attacking with one unit means either that they have bombers or that they have a lot of fighters. So we're going to get our fighters in here. We're going to not go with the bombers. We're going to get another phase A unit. Get the artillery in here with all of the 75 mils and do once again a real time battle. That should be good. Yeah, let's see how this one turns out. All right, so same map, sadly. So uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't bore you guys too much. We will be getting a little bit more of an infantry, anti-infantry focus going on here. So like faster AT guns instead of really powerful ones. Honestly, as long as we just keep that road blocked, we're good to go. So let's get one looking that way. And we can get the bunker MG there. Actually, we gotta get this pack to look both ways. All right. I think we have a little bit too many AT guns here. Let's get the 37 to look kind of this way here. Trenches. Kind of similar, I would say. It's good at the... Uh, the slope or the hill top right there and we'll get them on the left and on the far left if we had any left barbed wire i'm actually not gonna bother with it maybe over here in the opens if they do decide to push through this was a good place to block them at last time 
So that was good. Yeah, the rest, uh, I don't think they're going to be really a problem. So we have right Jaegers now. MP44s and everything. So we do have some some of that good stuff. We're going to just spread them out. No trenches over here, so we're just going to put them into the buildings. And maybe get one right Jaeger. And these right Jaegers will be pushing into these trenches. We will get a leader on this side and a MG42. And the rest of the MG42s will be going here and there for when we fall back. If we fall back with these units. And get some infantry there. Just spread them all out. One over there. One right here and there. And just get a regular... Let's actually get an MG42. Yeah, let's just get these. These are really good. Man, we have a lot of them. My god. We're really going overboard probably with all of the infantry. But you never have enough infantry, let me tell you. Man, more MG42s. Should we get a commander? Let's get a commander over there. And one on top here. And just get like a leader in that trench. We have one there. We have a commander there. Okay. All right. Um, and let's just put a commander right over there. We'll just get commanders everywhere. Why not? We got plenty of commanders. Get a battery Fuhrer. Oh my god, I said Fuhrer. Now I'm going to be banned. Banned from YouTube. Recon. Another recon. And all of our artillery. So where do we not have a leader? Over there? Over there. And that's it. Yep, and the 75s, we are just going to be spawning. Um, well, moving up to the front like that. So let's go. Man, we have so much infantry. And all the commanders are nicely linked up. Yeah, they definitely do have the airplanes, so that's good to know. We're going to be getting these A8s with the 420mm on the wings. As soon as we have the points for it. The initial rush is going to be quickly demolished. The only thing is that we only have... Okay, we have two AT guns, never mind. Looking that towards the left. This trench is a little bit full. Let's move you to the left a little bit. There we go. Get into that thousand meter range. Get in, get in trench, maybe. How does that work? Machine guns in trenches. It kind of doesn't. <laughs> Alright then. Yeah, let's just keep that speeded up. There we go. Got some airplanes. Let's go after that PE2. That is... These, these planes are so powerful, there's absolutely nothing you can do against this. If you're going head-to-head -head with an A8, you're gonna lose. Unless maybe if you're in a P-39. So these guys will just tear you up. If they fire. They're overextending. Or overshooting. Already damaged tail. Come on, boys. He's down on the throttle there. Jeez. Find 
Not sure if we're gonna make it to that unit. Probably not. God, they are really having some trouble with that. Let's get another one out. There we go. Man, that took long. Let's just circle these boys around. Speed it up. Not much is going to happen. We're just going to keep buying the artillery that we planned. There goes that P2. We're probably gonna catch up with that one. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's out. No contest there. So it's kind of fun that we will be uh, doing maybe a push to the north of the map, as you guys saw from the introduction video. So it will not be defending every time, just like the previous series that we did with the Germans. Nice right, evac. Yeah, he's out. Okay. Yeah, let's just chill. How's everyone's day doing? Let me know. In ch let me know down in the comment section. How's everyone hanging? You guys good? Better be good. Man, this is just nasty. I want to see that mortar just explode. Alright, here we go. That is bound to get smashed. If that doesn't get smashed, I don't know what, what we need to do. That is a really concentrated fire as well. Okay, he's pinned down. I want that gone. Last volley. Okay. We could use some infantry here. Let's get some reinforcements. Not a bomber. Clean that up. Not a bomber. Clean that up. Yeah, let's evac. We've done enough bombing runs. Yeah, why not? Let's bomb out for already all of it. Ooh, there it is. Got some AT guns and stuff moving out. We could do a volley on the Maxim actually, just to, just to um, get it to move. Wow, didn't even budge. Timer is going down pretty quick, so uh, this won't take too long. Let's just get the infantry in position here. There we go. Let's get the forest bombarded just once. There we go. Alright.
Man, there's a lot of infantry there. Should we do a counterattack? Let's do a counterattack. Let's have some fun. Let's go, boys. Just move in. We're gonna get the RD to uh, cover your ass. Let's get some planes to cover you as well. And we're gonna be charging in. Alright, shells incoming in five. There we go. Spreading out your artillery is both good and bad. We need to get so many supplies. Oh, look at all this infantry. My god. Just gonna attack move with him. Alright, we're smashing the left. Let's do some gun runs on the inf. Wow. Man, these guys are good. Look at that. Cleaning up. Mm -mm -mm. Two over there. Interesting. Get them, boys. Let's move the infantry in. Let's have some fun with these uh, planes. There you go. They're really going for the bombers. For some reason. Let's hold off the artillery. Let's do a gun run on the infantry, finish that off. P2 that we could actually get. Yeah, let's get that. That's a lot of 20 mils. Not much you can do against that. Before we run out of ammo, let's do one last gun run. And we'll evacuate as soon as this is destroyed. There we go. Perfect. Speed things up. Very s I'm still surprised they have planes. We're just gonna buy them and uh, scramble them left side, just to keep them all busy. They will automatically target planes. Phase C, we got 30 minutes, come on. No! Go away. No one likes you. Such like a... This is just a lobby simulator. Oh my god. New idea. Waiting for a lobby? You just do random 1v1 solos against Skirmish AI. There you go. Lobby simulator fixed. Hopefully we don't get attacked again. That would be a really long episode. Alright. Full on assault. Yeah, there you go. That's being engaged and destroyed. We literally don't have enough planes to keep that... Uh, or they have so many planes that we cannot keep it all covered. And we just need to spawn them in like, once, once at a time. Just to keep that all uh, spread out. Just got that PE2. It was really going after our planes, wasn't it? Get them, boys. Let's just scramble across, speed things up again. Let's 
Loads and loads of infantry. Let's just clean all that up. Man, these MGs are amazing. Love them. Come on, boys. Two minutes. I think we have air supremacy. What do you think? All right, I'll spawn more and then. Five seconds. That infantry is about to be pounded. There we go. Ouch. Good stuff. We're holding their attack. See what we got. Hoping it's going to be our turn. They are moving a lot of units to the front line. Okay, looks like it is our turn. So we can make the 19th Mechanized Brigade surrender completely. They have moved in 6 T. T-34s. And there's another uh, 40 of them down in the south. We should probably be digging in here. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. What do we have in the back? Some Stugs. Stug 42, Stug 3s. Let's move them up. Got our Artillery 150s. Let's get that up there. And more, more Stug 3Gs. Stug 3Gs are good to hold off against uh, the tanks that they have. And speaking of, let's get the Tigers up towards there. What is that? Seeker rooms are actually not bad. We'll keep them there. The security division, as it is called, is security, so we're going to move them all the way up north and kind of hold off that bridge. This, with all of the Seeker rooms, can help with the tanks. Speaking of tanks, that's a lot of M4s. Um, yeah, what do we have in the north? Should we attack this? Now, if we attack it, the danger is... Well, it's not a danger, really. It's kind of a given. We will have to move in. And uh, that will take away our um, fortifications. So what we will be doing is maybe collapse this front a little bit. I'm thinking maybe fall back to this road. Because we are pretty exposed over there. So, Grupa Hartneck. Let's see what else. Can we call in anything? No. Okay. Um, yeah, interesting. So, I want to hold this road. I want to hold that bridge, hopefully, with the security division that we have going on there. With this group here, we're going to be pushing in. So, we got some Urzats Pioneers. These are not too bad. All right, that uh, showed up another unit there. Group Hartneck. These are a crap load of Tigers. That would be pretty awesome down in the south, actually. Not gonna lie. And then we can move the Stugs up north. Yeah, let's do that. We got some Tigers moving up north anyways. Don't want to be re... Don't want to be encircled. Got some T-34, some captured T-34, some Panzer 2s and 3s. Panzer Grenadiers, not too bad at all.
Okay, yeah, the plan is probably we are going to be holding off one more wave of attack. And after that, we should be getting our tanks to the front, and then we'll do some counterattacks, and we're going to try to push towards the north to this flag here um, and see how that goes. As soon as we have that, we will have access to more units. But yeah, that was it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. I guess I'll see you in the next episode of Steel Division, the last chapter. Here we go.